to continue our shed project video tutorial series we are going to move into doors and in this video we are going to add in a single flush door for the closet and then also an overhead garage door for the front of the shed so to start we're going to move into the architecture ribbon and then I'm going to click on the door button as soon as you do that you'll notice the properties panel has adjusted for the doors and the drop down menu gives you a variety of current uh, single flush doors and that's all we're going to need right now to add a door for our closet we're going to specifically be adding a 32 by 84 inch single flush door so I'm going to click on that one and we're going to add it on this wall right here now when you just hover your mouse You'll notice that as you move your mouse, the dimensions are automatically being adjusted for the door, so you know it's centered. So what I want to do is just make sure it's centered within those walls. So if you notice, my dimensions are now matching, so I'm going to left-click to add that door. Now I'm still in the door tool, and it thinks that I want to keep adding doors, so I want to get out of that, so I'm going to hit Escape on the keyboard. And oh, one more time, hit Escape. And then now I need to adjust the swing of the door. So I, I definitely want it to be swinging out. I don't want it to swing in, so I don't need to change that. But I actually want it to swing towards the back wall. So to do that, I'm going to left click on the door and simply click these two little arrows to flip the instance. And then now the door will swing open towards the wall. And next we're going to be adding in the overhead garage door. So I'm going to hit escape so that way that thing is no longer selected. And then I am going to go back up top and click on that door button again. And this time, now when we drop this down there's no other doors in there. So what we need to do is actually load the garage door in. So in our modify and place door ribbon we have a load family option so we're going to click on that and when you do that this window is going to pop up and we're going to go into the doors library and then into residential so double click there and we're going to choose the door garage flush panel so go ahead and click on that and then click open when we do that, you'll notice the properties panel change. You're getting a little preview of that overhead door. And what we're going to do then is we're going to put this door on this lower wall. Now, the part that you want to pay attention to is which line you're clicking for that lower wall. If you click this inside line, you'll notice those hidden lines, those blue dashed lines, are going outward towards the outside of the garage. We don't want that because those blue lines represent where the garage door will go when it's open so we want that to be above you inside of the shed so we want those hidden lines going in so I'm clicking let me zoom out a little bit because I also want to see these dimensions so I'm clicking the lower line and then I'm paying attention to those dimensions I want those dimensions up top to be equal so that way I can ensure that the garage door is being centered on that wall once I see both of those occurring I'm going to left click to add the garage door and then I can hit escape to get out of the tool and now I ha hit escape again and now I have my garage door for my shed and last but not least go click that save button